Hey guys, it's Dunstan Birchinger, Inspiration Coach, sitting here by the banks of the beautiful River Avon, just by the sailing club that you can see over that shoulder. And today, I want to talk to you about something that is potentially one of your biggest assets. It's free. It's also one of the best gifts that you can give to someone. Uh, it can also be used really badly. Some people use it too much. Some people don't use it enough. And the trick is to use it just right. So what am I talking about? We're going to talk today. Um, this may sound a bit cryptic, but we're going to talk today about your yes, your capacity to say yes, to feel yes, and to mean yes when it's appropriate for you. And we're going to do a bit of a health check on your yes to get it working better for you. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, something a bit scary that I did today, just now, a yes that I said. And we're going to talk, talk about different things that maybe don't work with yes or problems that people have with finding their authentic yes. We're also going to talk about, I'm going to give you a really, really simple tool that you can use in any situation to improve the quality of your yes and help you to really tune into your authentic yes. And I have some opportunities for you as well. And uh, by the end of this, I would love you to commit to saying yes to something that, that works for you. So here we go. First up, how is your yes? Let's just get the thermometer out and do a quick health check. Are you the kind of person who likes to say yes to opportunities that are put in front of you? Do you say yes when maybe sometimes you actually mean no? Are you someone who's addicted to saying yes, in other words? You, you could be someone who, who really is afraid to disappoint other people. Or you, you just really want to say yes in the moment. Then afterwards, you, you might feel a bit used or feel like that wasn't actually 100% true. Are you someone who avoids saying yes? Um, or, or, or maybe you're someone who just avoids saying yes or no because you, 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 you're not really sure and you don't want to disappoint the other person, but you don't want to commit. So um, on that one, all I'll say is that being indecisive can, can create a massive amount of sort of unfinished loose ends. Uh, you may have heard the expression closing the loop where you finish off jobs it could be that there's an email with something that you've got to make a decision about and you just leave that email open there waiting because you're going to come back to it and decide later. And I know for me personally how much energy that drains. So um, I, I personally find what works is to, to make a decision. And even if I, <laughs> I message back and go, hey, you know what? I'm not sure. Get back to me again later. Um, and that's a great way to, to reclaim lost energy. Are you someone who just always says no? Um, and of course, you know, when you when you deal with other people, you'll see these different types. Some people just say no automatically. And then maybe after you ask them four or five times, they might consider it again and, and, and find a yes. Um, one of the ones that um, that's really tricky to look out for is when someone says yes, and it's like, do you know, do you want to do X, Y or Z? And they're like, uh, yes, but their whole body language is a no. And it can save a lot of time and, and, and energy if you learn to read that and actually not just listen to the words that someone says, but listen to all of what someone's saying, remembering that a lot of communication is nonverbal. It's in the tone. It's in the body language, it's in the person's energy. So as you uh, as you as you learn to get familiar with this. And uh, you can, you can, you know, if you're if you're still in a, a thing of pleasing people, or you come across other people who who are, you know, their 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 main aim. If I ask someone and, and and they feel a bit uncomfortable, it's possibly because they don't want to disappoint me. And of course, if you recognise that in yourself, 
or in other people, it can make it a whole load easier to actually get to the truth of the, of the communication. So earlier today, I had a little, um, a little appointment uh, to talk about a, a product that could help me with, with, with where I'm at and with my coaching and help me to get more engaged with, with my with purpose of, 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 of coaching and with my passion, which is what I want to share with people. And at the end of that conversation, um, that the person, Helen, I was talking to had, had really did a good job of listening to me, asking me some good questions, which was massively valuable in, in itself. And at the end, there was a question of, well, would you like to do some more work with us? And uh, it was it was uh, tricky in a way because it was a big amount of money. And at the start of the conversation, I thought, well, you know, my budget is X and uh, the amount Y was a lot bigger than what I was planning to spend. And um, I, I, I looked at it and I first of all, I, I asked myself, well, do I believe that this um, process is going to get the results that it claims? Do I believe this process is what it says it is and it does what it says on the box? And through the congruence, you know, through, through, through what I'd experienced so far, I, I was like, yes, definitely. For someone who's prepared to do the actions, it's going to work. Then I looked at, then the next question was to say to myself, well, am I the kind of person who wants what I say I want and I'm ready to do what it takes to get what I want and to create the results I want? And my answer was yes. So then I'm just left with looking at this program and saying, well, is this program going to work for me? And my honest answer was, well, I don't know. <laughs> so... Um, that was where I found from within myself, I found a yes. And it, 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 you know, I always remind myself that, uh, learning happens and growth happens at the edge of my comfort zone. So if my comfort zone is, is right here and I, I want to learn something new, maybe I need to just stretch myself a little bit over here and, and, and do something. So this was a stretch for me. And my yes was my, my choice to say, you know what, I'm going to choose to make this program work for me. And along the way, it might be challenging. I'm probably going to discover some of my unconscious fears. I'm probably going to bump up against um, limiting beliefs and places where I hold myself back. And I'm up for it and I'm going to have a go and I'm going to make this work for me because I believe in the program. I believe in myself. And I, I'm totally going to make the two things work together. So I'm celebrating today because I said my yes. And let's see what happens next. It's a 12-week it's a, a program. And you're going to start to see some of the results of that soon. Anyhow, back to you. Your yes. The yes of the people around you. And um, what about, um, you know... How how could you change your relationship with your yes in a really, really good way? And um, the simple tool that I want to offer you today is it's about listening to your own voice. So the first thing you need to do is to give yourself time to listen to your own voice. We're not talking about avoiding saying a yes or a no. We're just talking about creating a little bit of space for yourself. And one way you can do that, which is really powerful, is next time you get put in this situation, just pause and, you know, it's a situation where it's an opportunity is being presented to you or someone's asked you to do something and it can be really tempting to feel like you're under pressure, like you have to answer straight away. And if you're feeling that, then it's not a very easy, easy place to connect to what's true inside yourself. So what if you could just take a couple of deep breaths? You might even want to say in that situation, well, you know what? I just want to take a moment to, to tune in and feel um, what's true for me. Or if that's a bit too hippie, you might just say, hmm, hang on a minute. Let me just think about that for a moment. But actually, I don't want you to think about it. I want you to feel. And I want you to tap into 
not the intelligence center up here in your mind. I want you to tap into the intelligence center here in your heart and the intelligence center down here in the guts. And I want you to tune into your gut feeling and I want you to see what that's saying. Ask yourself, you could ask yourself out loud. If it's appropriate, you could put your hands on your body. Definitely taking a few deep breaths will help you and to find the answer in your body. And if you're not sure, um, one thing that's a massively powerful tool is just to know that you can always change your mind. We tend to think that, and I often think, oh my God, I gotta make this decision, and it's really important, but what if you could change your mind? What if you could say to someone, you know what, at the time I felt that was a yes, but, but right now, I don't think this is gonna work for me anymore. So I've changed my mind. Or what if you said no, and then later you, you, you found your yes. But this is about the yes. This is about saying yes. So a lot of people want different results in their life. A lot of people want to create change. And it's amazing how these opportunities can come to you from unexpected places. So this opportunity I signed up for today, uh, that came to me yesterday and I just said yes to the first step which was a webinar and then I said yes to the next step which was an appointment and I just went through the process with, with, with Helen and we got to a place at the end where I, I found a yes to going forward and I'm, I'm stoked about that. So what if you could what if you could find the way of saying yes to an opportunity that's in front of you? You know I, I, I meet a lot of a lot of people who want more, a lot of women who want more intimacy in their lives. And, and, and this may be a contentious one, but I, I see them saying no to, to opportunities where they could be connecting with, with men more around them. So, you know, whether it's, whether it's saying yes to going out on a date with someone, whether it's saying yes to uh, a coaching package or, or, or a program, whether it's saying yes to doing something every day that you know is, is what you really want to do in your heart of hearts. And, you know, it's not always that simple because sometimes there might be a part of you that wants to say yes and a part of you that's afraid. And I guess that's pretty normal, right? Um, if, you've, if you've ever faced something like that, you know, it, it's, it's, and that's where your choice comes in. And it's often a lot easier to make a decision once, you, once you've actually heard the different parts of yourself. And, and, you know, if the part of you that's a bit afraid gets to say, well, you know, I'm afraid because once before I, I, I said yes to something like this and I felt like I got ripped off or I felt like my trust was betrayed. And, you know, once that's, uh, once that's clear and spoken, then you're in a, a clearer position to, uh, <laughs> to, to find what's true for you. And... You know, if, 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 your, if your life force, if your energy wants to move you forward in life, what are you doing to block it? And, you know, what if every day you said yes to one big thing that could be a bit scary, but could be an opportunity? That, you know, how would your life change if you just said yes to something every day for a month? Now, um... That's an idea. If you want to do that, then you might be interested in, in 28 Days of Courage. Um, you know, whether you do anything to do with me or anything I recommend, what I hope you take from this is finding your yes and for your yes to be working in a healthy way, for your yes to be working for you and for your, your yes to be helping you to face fears, helping you to work through things that may be holding you back and helping you to allow your life force and your energy to move you forward in a powerful way. So that's what this is about. And, um, you know, one of my teachers who's, who's really helped me with this in a very subtle way is my beautiful friend, Sasha Cobra. And she works in the area of conscious sexuality and but it's, it's really about so much more than, 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 than sex or, or, or sexuality or, or, or relating. It's about life force and it's about 
who who you are really deep inside and um my friend Sasha has this amazing offer where someone, it, she's got some workshops coming up in, in London, Brighton and, and around Europe in June and someone can get a free ticket to each one of those, which is an amazing offer. Um, and uh, so, so, so check that out. And, you know, what if you could just open yourself up to the possibility that there could be a big fat yes inside you to doing this and that then you could find a way to get there and, 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 and do it. Um, and you know, for, for, for wherever you are in the world, I've got this program coming up starting first June called 28 days of courage. And this is all about finding a yes every day to something you want to do to move yourself forward. And so I'll put a little link in the, in the thing here to both of those things. Um, and, and you know, a yes it could be that you find yourself actually each day, if you're the sort of person that says yes the whole time when you don't really mean it, it could actually be saying no to people, saying no to someone that's asking you for something every single day for a month. But that no, guess what? It's actually a yes to yourself. It's actually a yes to reclaiming time and energy and life force for what's really true for you. So that's pretty much the end of this video. So what have we talked about? We've talked about this thing that is a massive asset that's free, your yes. It's a gift when you, when you really give your authentic and vulnerable yes to another person. It's a really beautiful thing and it can really unlock your life going forward. We've talked about ways that people abuse their yes. We've talked about ways that people say yes when they don't mean it. We've talked about ways that people neglect their yes and never say yes. We've talked about ways that you might be avoiding saying yes by saying, oh, I don't know, I'll get to it later or procrastinating. We've talked about tuning into the intelligence, the wisdom of your body, your life force, your energy and what a, what, what a yes really is feels like and it may be the first time in your life that you've ever actually explored that it may be a reminder but either way I would love to know how this video lands I'd love to know uh, what you found useful and I would love you to join me for one of the things I, I mentioned which are both uh, both fantastic and uh, I want you to go out today and say yes to something and let me know how it goes. So this is Dunstan Birchinger, Inspiration Coach. I'm signing off and uh, thank you for listening. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye.